All right, guys, having a dirty one today. So, uh, Kia Sportage, yeah. Um, putting the clutch in. I've seen quite a few videos um, online. There aren't actually any of anybody putting a clutch in one of these. Um, I might do a video at some point if I get another one um, of how to put a clutch in. This is just a two wheel drive one, so it's quite basic and simple. Um, but I have seen some videos of the people saying about uh, the slave cylinder. So they say that oh, if your clutch pedal's low, it's, it's the slave cylinder is packed up, it's sucking air in. Not necessarily. So this one did exactly that. The clutch pedal was really low and wouldn't disengage properly. And this is what was wrong with it. So it actually snapped the ears off. There should be another one here too. But it's actually snapped both the ears off the thrust bearing. And the thrust bearing is just waving around in the hole. And then because the clutch lever isn't sat in the right place on these two spots, it basically pushed it all out of whack and wouldn't disengage. The clutch plate, as you can see, it's got a little bit of room left before it hits the rivets. It's not, it's not what I'd call worn out by any stretch of the imagination. There's plenty of meat on it. Now it has started to delaminate there. Don't know if you can tell on camera, but one half is not attached to the other half properly. It, the two halves of the plate are starting to separate. So it's, it's seen its days. I mean, it's the original clutch. It's done 90,000. But if you're Kia, you can see where the struggling to disengage so if you've got one of these and it's got a low clutch pedal the way to test and this is the best way I can describe how to do it so the easiest thing to do is go underneath the vehicle and where so the <clears throat> cylinder bolts on here and then the rod pushes on here if this arm so in its full back position, which is where it is now, look, you can see it's quite far back. Yeah. Now if this arm is over here, you've got a problem. And it could be that your clutch is worn out, it could be that this bearing snapped, you know, but it's not this. So what you do is you can take a tape measure. I'm gonna remember maybe right, I think it was Four, cent, four and a half to five centimetres of full travel on the piston. Now I measured from the rubber boot, the end of the rubber boot to here. And I had, so the, obviously I took it off, measured it, it got like four and a half, five and a half centimetres, something like that, of total travel. But yet, when I, with nothing on the clutch, between here and here, was already 4.5 centimetres. So when you've got 4.5 centimetres between the edge of your piston, show you that. You've got four and a half centimetres between this rubber part here and the end of here. And you've already got four centimetres of it's already four centimeters over. That gives you 13 mil of clutch travel. That's not right. So that's how you tell if it's done this or destroyed the gearbox, or if the cylinder just isn't pushing it far enough. You just measure that and you'll know. So yeah, just thought I'd share that with you because I didn't see anybody giving anybody any idea how how to actually check that. Um, people just say, oh, it's, it's air in the cylinder. Mm, not necessarily. Measure that and you'll know. All right, catch you on the next one.